Greetings, I'm Craig Smizer. In this episode of Discover Austin, we take a look at one of the city's most distinctive images, the Pennybacker Bridge. The Pennybacker Bridge was named after Percy Pennybacker, who was an engineer who designed bridges for the state of Texas around the time of World War II. The bridge intentionally has a rusted, weathered look so that it aesthetically fits in with the surrounding hill country and Lake Austin, which runs below it. It's an untied arch suspension bridge that at the time of its construction was only the second of its kind in the world. A key advantage is that there are no pillars or supports in the water itself. The main span of the bridge is 600 feet long and the road deck is 70 feet above the water. Over 600 million pounds of steel were used in construction. It cost $10 million to build and started in the summer of 1980. The bridge opened to traffic about two and a half years later on December 3rd, 1982. The bridge is also referred to as the 360 bridge because Loop 360 is the name of the roadway, which by the way, isn't a loop at all. 360 is also known as the capital of Texas highway so yes, it gets confusing. The cliffs on the north side are accessible by foot. Parking is limited, the trail is not easy, and there are no safety measures at the top, so be sure to use some caution. The views of both the Pennybacker Bridge and the Austin Hill Country are spectacular. I'm Craig Smizer. Thanks for joining me on this episode of Discover Austin. <laughs>